Hey guys, we're out in the garden today. It's hot, um, but we've got some stuff ready to harvest and I figured I would uh, let you guys join me on that. We've got some beans, some squash. Hopefully I'm gonna get a couple tomatoes for some tomato sandwiches for lunch. And uh, yeah, we'll just kind of take a look around the garden as we go. But as you can see, kind of, I think you can see, behind me here, we've got Bama's beans and we've got a whole lot of them on there, ready to go. So we're just gonna kinda pick. Got my handy dandy, handy dandy silver bucket again. And time for some beans. We actually don't know what kind of beans these are. Um, my grandmother got them from her neighbor years ago and passed them on to us. And we've just been growing and propagating or not propagating, but collecting seeds from them year after year. They always do <laughs> fantastic. Um, we always keep them, uh, you know, the required distance from our other beans, just in case uh, we don't want any cross pollinating. That looks like about it. We'll uh, move on from there. Our Kajari melons, again, are doing fantastic. We finally got to try one. We do have to thank Roots Refuge Farm for recommending these guys to us. Well, not directly. We watched their video and we're like, we need to try those. I definitely recommend others following them. They're a great channel to watch. But talk about prolific. Um, I think we've got about 15 plants on this trellis here. It was our first time trying it. Some were started ahead, some we just put the seeds directly in. And so far we've harvested, I think, six melons. And there's got to be another 20 and more coming as it climbs up the uh, trellis here. You can see these little guys coming. So very excited about these. Uh, what can I say about them? They're kind of like a cantaloupe slash honeydew taste and texture. They're green on the inside. We weren't really sure what to expect, but they're gorgeous. Um, definitely a keeper. We've already saved some seeds from these and are looking forward to maybe doing both sides of the trellis next year now that we know it's a keeper. My Roma tomatoes, as you can see, are jungle, but they're loaded loaded with fruit. We're just waiting for some ripening. Probably still another two weeks out on those I would have thought, but I'll keep you posted. Behind me here we have our um, Asian red noodle beans. Uh, again, a find from Roots and Refuge. Love their channel. Um, we love these beans, although this year they seem to be very, very late, but we finally have blossoms. Very excited about that. Um, they will go up and over the trellis and hang down. Uh, they range between 16 and 20 inches long each noodle. Uh, I found them great for canning, that sort of thing. So we'll come back to those a little bit later and see how they're doing in a few more weeks here. It's kind of nice to have things staggered out so it's not all at once. But we're going to go and get ourselves some peppers. I'm pretty sure we're going to have some. We'll take a look. These are our dough hills again. That one's not quite ready, but this little guy here is. I don't know if we can even see this. <laughs> There's a nice little guy. Yeah, I'm not sure. Mixed reviews on these. Uh, some are doing great. Some... As you can see, not so much. We definitely have something eating those. Our broccoli, we've already harvested from these guys, but they're still chugging along, trying to produce, so we pick a little bit off them every now and then. Oh boy, look over here. Look over there, there's tons of them coming in there. Not sure if any are actually, well, whoops, picked that one, so I guess it's coming. Oh, this guy, little guy here. Dough hills are a little pepper. Our dill is looking like I need to harvest some. 
again, pickles weren't so great, so the dill's kind of been allowed to go, but I would like to dry some dill seed and dill weed, so looking at some of these heads here and thinking maybe it's time to pick some. We might come back to that on another one, though. Ooh, look at these eggplants coming along. I am going to harvest that guy. Take a squeeze through here. Oh, there's one at the back side. I fall. This guy's going bad. This guy here is going bad. So we're going to take that out, even though I would like a big, would have liked it to be bigger. Still lots of season left for these guys. Plus we have some in the uh, tilled garden as well. Now's where we have a bit of fun. The crooked neck squash, I'm, I can't even figure out how many we're going to get. It is packed and they're ripening quick and we've already let some age to go for seeds so we're just going to pick. I might set you down for this one. <laughs> bad so far. We ended up with eight. There was a few more that I could have picked, but I'm going to let them go a little bit longer. Um, I don't really want to have to process and do them right this instant, so our bowl's looking so pretty. Let's check here. Oh, boy, oh boy. There's a lot of tomatoes that have gotten past us. <laughs> You can see here, a lot of ripe guys, a lot of overripe guys. I'm going to get busy on that. Anyways guys, there's our harvest for today, or this morning. I'll at least make some tasty tomato sandwiches and a really yummy skillet for supper tonight. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.